pretty good. Losing him on not him, him on top, not great, but this is one of the hardest fights in the game. One death here is insanely good, and being two deaths total past it is even better. Mash is correct here. Okay, he just went Shadow Force. That's cool. Yeah, next one's not gonna do that much, and I can't get crit. It's all Gucci. This is kind of random damage. A random move, maybe? Yeah. I think this one just get Shadow Force twice. I thought he would at least Will O Wisp once. Um, this kind of changes things a little bit for us. So it can always kill with Earthquake. I think no other move actually kills here. Oh yeah, we're fine. So we're gonna pivot this to bait the Meteor Mash, and then Typhlosion can just kill this. Yeah, this is why we went Citrus Berry. It does not. He needs crit plus attack boost for that. And he did not get either. Okay. And uh, life will play forward skills. Swampy boy. Let's go to the looty. No need to fake out, that just reduces the amount of damage that we recover. Just Giga Drain. Okay, this is Typhlosion. This is Choice Specs, so we're dead to Lava Plume crit. But we just lock him into Lava Plume and then we go Kingdra. You can't do sh Um, I know Hydro Pump guaranteed kills, but we don't have to rush it. We have Lumberry for exactly that. Good range. Uh, let's go Dragon Pulse, who cares? And now it's just Cradillion. Hope for no Ancient Power boost here, because that gives us a clean finish for this fight. I have not played Incoma Demo. Plus combat should kill. Clean! Thank you for the five gifted, you ego death. I appreciate it, man. Okay, so charge stone cave encounter. Our main idea here is we want to maximize chances to get Voltorb. We have static on Ampharos, which gives us a good chance. Yeah, BF BF2 with static should be the highest chance because it's the only electric type. That should give us basically a 60% chance, I believe, of getting Voltorb. Okay, so we have to fight the next scientist first. I hammer arm here, right? I'm slower than Cacturn anyway. Really not accounting for, like, turn one Destiny Bond ever. I don't know if it's even possible. I 
I mean, is it not just safer to go bla straight up blazing in here? Like, there's not really a downside. Wait, I'm actually slower. It's the same as I split. I'm just gonna f***ing click it, boys. What else can I do? I can go to Fortress, actually. Well, that's just unlucky, isn't it, chat? It was bound to happen eventually if I never play around it. F*** me, dude. I really should have accounted for it. That's a really stupid death. Yeah, just T-Wave. T-Wave Fortress from now on. I don't know, I feel like it's so unlikely at full HP. That's a really impactful death, man. This run just got a lot worse. That's huge, dude. It's fine. I, like, with the team I brought, I had no way to prevent it. I should have taught Thunder Wave to Fortress. That was the plan. I just I was just kind of playing the game assuming that it could never happen and then it happened. I guess we know how to prepare for it from now on though. It's fine. That was the worst possible move for him to go for. Um, I'm not gonna lie, Fortress is getting slightly owned right now, um, let's kill this with Sand Slash. What's up, Boxy? Okay, so I'm dead to Ice Fang crit, right? I think what I should be able to do is just go to um, Fortress and then back to Sand Slash. Okay, he went Night Slash. Dude, losing a Kingler there is a huge snowball moment. It's really insane. So it should still always be Night Slash or Sucker Punch. Our 39 HP never dies to crit and then I just outspeed and kill it. Why? Literally, why? I was waiting for the Sucker Punch crit there, by the way. Yeah, the Swift Swim Artillery is really scary. Both you and Yana are above this nonsense, just block him and don't give him attention, he's either 12 or disturbed based on what you're saying, come on. Listen, okay? I have to ignore so many of you fucking psychopaths every fucking day, okay? I have to just block and move on so much, okay? I've decided for myself, I get once a month where I get to fuck with someone, okay? I get once a month. And this is my once a month, okay?
Once a month, I get to tell someone who's DMing me their favorite Pokemon list. <laughs> Never mind. I don't get to tell them that. But I do get a reply with who asked once a month. Him yeah, shell smashing doesn't matter, right? Cacturn is absolutely popping off right now. Okay, so I'm dead to Ancient Power crit. How do I want to deal with that? I could just play into it. He's pretty likely to Calm Mind anyway, right? Okay, 1 in 16, 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 1 in 16. Easy. Oh yeah, why didn't I just Sucker Punch? <laughs> what trainer did I wipe to on 16? The final one in the, or the second to last one in the gauntlet. The rain one. Oh, I didn't restore Protect PP, that's a little bit annoying. I always forget, which one has a higher chance to lower special defense? It's Bug Buzz, right? Oh, right, I get knocked off here. I should have left over someone else. This should have been, um, Rocky Helmet. That's fine. I just use return. It's it's cause um its best move is knockoff, right? It does it have to do with a knockoff AI and me not having an item? Pretty sure, right? Do I own a volt switch? So volt switch into L Ludicolo, I think, to bait Lunatone. I hope it kills. That'd be really awkward. Why is Ludicolo beat Lunatone? Because he sees Explosion as doing the most, or as the highest base power. Okay, so we Scald here. For a little bit more damage. And potential burn. Okay. Super good. I want to kill this with... No, I need to kill this with Cacturn, because if I kill this with Ludi, he will go Gengar and I'm Shadow Tag and I'm f***ed. So I need to switch to... Oh, f if he hypnotizes though. Or I could go Grumpig, I guess. I think I should have gone Shed Shell on Grumpig. Or maybe on Ludi? Um, is I still have my Lumberry. I have to waste a lot of turns here. I think the best place is click Fake Out until I'm in Kill Range or Psycho Boost. Or until I'm asleep, or weather ball, it doesn't really matter. It's a normal type move either way, this is part ghost. Rock ghost type. Okay, he just needs to do that one more time. And then I can switch to character and... Nice. Now we can't hypnotize on the switch. I live that, I think. Nerfed explosion. <sighs> Not if it crits. Dude, that's so unlucky, man! Are you serious? That is brutal, dude. And then it hit the 1 in 16, too. That's kind of crazy, man. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, does Grumpik actually bait Gengar? I think it baits Kecleon, right? But I have to go Grumpig. 
in case it is getting... I, I, I don't know how it works. Snowball effect is so real. If Kingler is alive there, then none, none of this happens. Let's grump a kill here. Oh, this is really bad. Because now, whatever kills Kecleon is up against Shadow Tag Gengar. I should have brought something with Shed Shell, I think. Alright, we have a shot here, if we hit this range. 56%. Now we're dead to Gengar. How do I even kill Gengar now? This is so bad. Kabuto's sack is definitely better here, I agree. But how do I actually deal with Gengar? Or Maldo kills it. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't actually win that interaction. It might with Citrus. It's kind of close. Rock Tomb, unfortunately, does not make us faster. If Gengar Shadow Ball crits Armaldo, I wipe. If I get the Citrus Berry proc, I'm pr I, I'm likely to survive, unless he gets Bedef Drop. So it's Fortress Switch. Maybe Sucker Punch here? Nope. No crit? Volt Switch time. Don't crit. Easy clap. I don't know why Kabutop is on this team, dude. I'm not gonna lie. It was just a straight up mistake. Alright, Armaldo. Let's do this, baby. This comes down to damage rolls. Well, I, no, it comes down to spadef drops or crits, I think. I think with Citrus Berry we survive every time, he, if, even, even if he max rolls Shadow Ball, right? Don't do it. Okay. It's a really high roll, though. I think Armaldo's dead. Okay. Okay, so... 50% chance to die to the next Shadow Ball here. Shadow Ball is 96 to 114. Half of the rolls kill me. Come on, Armaldo! It's, it's literally a coin flip here. Eight ranges kill me, eight do not. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go! We're still in this. The fucking snowball is so real right now, boys. If, if, I'm pretty sure if Gengar crits Armaldo there, it's a wipe. We still have a dark type and a grass type, but, man. So we are in a very, very precarious phase of this Nuzlocke. It's very rare that you get to see a snowball start rolling this, um, in this much detail. Cacturn is a big loss. Cacturn is huge in this run. Um, all those Psychic and Ghost-type trainers, Cacturn demolishes. Let me explain why Kingler was so useful. So Kingler is a Water Steel type in this game, which is insanely good typing. It also has Shell Armor, so it can't get crit, and no longer having that is really, really rough. Hello, I am using text-to-speech to interrupt the flow of the stream with either an unfunny quip or a generic cry for attention. I also want you to rate my favorite Pokemon without being informed of the exact amount I should donate in order to fulfill my request. I will not provide a link. <laughs> Kick it, Chad. Okay, so I can show speed and kill here. This is the easy part. Alright, this is Tauros Megahorn. Okay. Um, I will not protect here because I don't get the full value out of the leftover seal. I'm just gonna bug buzz. I only have five protect PP, so huge crit. Let me just kill with bug buzz here. We don't do any volt switch shenanigans. Ooh, actually lives that. Turns out that crit did not have any impact.
Just like that. Take a little bit of damage every turn in return, but super worth it. Flinch? Nice. Okay. I could have gotten no item on this to guarantee that this is Gunk Shot, which would have given me a free switch to Fortress. And then I could Volt Switch. But now I don't know if this is knockoff or not. The problem with the with the slow fortress play is he can minimize. Perfect. I'm not gonna protect because he can minimize. Okay. And I think sand slash kills from here. Uh, I might not. Probably won't, but it'll kill with Rocky Helmet. I'm pretty sure he's guaranteed to knock off here as well. Okay. He's not guaranteed to knock off here. Okay, I really need you to hit here, buddy. Rocky Helmet, does it kill? Yes, it does. Okay, perfect. Very nice. Can't avoid the Rocky Helmet damage with Minimize, baby. Okay, so we have a sneaky little, kooky little, fun little strat for this fight this time around. No reason to fake out, it just reduces. Oh, I should have considered Scalding there, actually. Fine. Okay, so this bait's artillery, and artillery will always gunk shot here, which means fortress come in for, can come in for free without taking a single point of damage. This is going to be important the turn after. Okay, we are full HP. Fortress has the sturdy ability, which means it cannot be one shot. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna tank a hit and click Volt Switch. We cannot die to a crit. The only thing that can happen here is accuracy drop into miss, which did not happen. We Volt Switch out, get a free switch. Into Yachiberry Ampharos, who cannot die to any crits from artillery here. We click Volt Switch again. Tank a Gunk Shot. Kill the Artillery. Bring in the Pre-Poisoned Pidgeot, which has the Quick Feed ability, so it's now super fast. Alligator comes in because it sees a super effective Ice Fang. We have Extra Belt, we kill with Thunderbolt. Take a little bit of poison damage. Venusaur comes in. It is still raining, we can always hit this Hurricane for a nice clean double kill. And we have a second furthest attempt. What? How do we maximize our chances of actually catching Voltorb if we encounter it? Because it can have explosion, right? It's 90% to catch with a Dusk Ball. We just go in raw. Let's bring in a couple of other Mons. That'll help us here. Do we, is it Dusk Cloud or normal? BF2. We want BF2 walking encounter because Voltorb is the only electric type encounter. So what happens if you lead with a static Pokemon if you encounter a Pokemon? 50% of the time, you always get an electric type. So whatever electric types are in the encounter table, you always get one of those. 
Um, in this case, Voltorb is the only one. So 50% of the time, we always get Voltorb. The other 50% of the time, we just get the normal encounter table, including all the electric types. So there's another 20% divided by 2, 10% chance for Voltorb, giving us a 60% chance to encounter a Voltorb here. The other encounters are all quite good too. Noah's Pass is decent, Porygon is okay, Chimeco is insanely good, Beldum is really, really good, Geodude's alright, Zubat's alright, Mawa's pretty good. There's no bad encounter here. The worst one is probably Porygon. Chimeco is like Psychic Steel type with Levitate. Very nice. Let's have this be Lightning Rod, but at first it has to actually get into the f***ing ball. Which is a 90% here. One, two, skittle diddle, and do. I mean, boys, this is a f***ing ball. How am I gonna smash this? I can't. I have to pat. You can give me electroshocks, though. So, probably not. Do this. Um, let's check if it's lightning rod, guys. It is naughty lightning rod. Boys, naughty's really bad, but... Well, it's not really bad, it's just neutral, basically. But it's Lightning Rod. That's seriously good. That is seriously f***ing good. So it's just so you understand what makes this so good, Electrode is buffed from 80 base special attack to 130 base special attack in this game, and retains its 140 base speed. Its defenses are nerfed. It also has 130 base attacks. So it also has good physical attack, by the way. Um, Explosion does insane amounts of damage. And then it's part Steel type, so it's got the poison immunity to switch into. It's also got it's it's also got the electric type immunity to switch into with fucking lightning rod. This thing is insane. It outspeeds and kills so much in this game. It's fucking crazy. Let's check the IVs. Two special attack, three speed, boys. Unfortunate. Alright. Should be pretty straightforward. I have flash cannon, right? Okay. Final grunt before N. Nice fresh cut, my dude. Thank you. This can only ever explode, so we just protect here. And this will bait out Mammoth Swine, which we can then just relentlessly f***ing kill. Nice. Now it's a wheezing. This wants to flamethrower. It's gonna go to Golduck. Didn't Magnet Rise to Flex? I could never. Psychic should kill. If he had Destiny Bond to turn one there on the switch, I could just click disable. And there's Crobat, this wants to Giga Drain or U-Turn. Or Brave Bird. All of which are easily tanked by the Quick Feed Pidgeot. Oh, I could have Volt Switched on the Weezing, not that it matters. Oh, wow, he, I did not think he would go for that. I can die to a crit here. Okay, never punished. And a Quick Feed Thunderbolt will kill. That's really weird that he went for that. That was like his least damaging option. Gen 5 AI moment. 
Yeah, I I think the safe play was pivoting through fortress there, maybe. 